you welcome back to plant mamacita so in today's video we are going to be hitting up all the lows that i can today in one you know go and today is thursday so i'm expecting them to have some good shipments in and because typically they get them on tuesdays and thursdays and i'm gonna hit up the ones that i always had the best luck at so it should be interesting so we're at our first location already um you probably can't tell but it's in the back so let's get going All right, their setup is kind of different compared to what I've been seeing. They kind of have a lot of these containers here on the shelves where the plants would be, but they got a bunch up top. It's pretty much typically what we're used to seeing, some waffle plants, Sansevieria, Croton. They have the Dark Knight Dracaena, or Dragon Tree, sorry. And then they have a bunch of string of bananas indoors. And then at the top, they had this beautiful full basket. It's a teardrop peperomia. And it's $10.98. And then a bunch of dracaena. They have some ponytail palm fiddle leaves. They have some peace lilies and some curtains. Beautiful aglonemas for $10.98, which is actually a good deal because you get a beautiful pot. And then up top they have more Chinese and some anthuriums and some cute little stands of your Oh no, he's broken. Aww. Well, these are $12.98. They have another one here. And then they have some sago palms, some potted ivy and a bunch of crested or er, coral cacti and some beautiful African violets. They have these braided money trees. And these are $24.98. Beautiful bird of paradise. These are so like easy to find these days. It's crazy. Very tempting. Hey guys, so that was what they got at the first Lowe's. Now we are at another location. I frequent this one a lot because uh, they send a lot of good stuff here. So hopefully they got some co cool stuff. The other one had a pretty cool plant that peperomia teardrop one i didn't hardly see those around here but let's go see what this one got you guys oh my god they have a whole bunch of lemon lime upright and they're they look to seem or like they seem to be variegated i think i don't know i know what this one is Back, they have these humongous sensivarius and I think that's a ficus. But these are so beautiful. And they're 42. They have some Tylea Dark Mystery, but look how pink these are. And some little, I don't know what these are. Dragon Tongue. Some Pothos. This is one of my favorite friends. I want to get one someday. Then they have Begonia.
guys, we just left our second Lowe's and we have arrived at our third. I may or may have not made a purchase at the last one, but you're gonna have to wait and see at the end of the video and I will share everything I got at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and step into our third location. Okay guys, we're in the houseplant section. It kind of looks the same as last time when we came. Um, they have a bunch of the same except for this cool begonia. It's really beautiful and red. I like it because it has like autumn colors. These are $3.98. They have more begonias here. And these are new as well. It's a Dracaena, but it's, um, I forget the name. I'm always terrible at, oops, remembering. Uh, Warren, oh that's why, because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> and then they have some ivy, more fern, different bakia, the usual. And then hanging up top, we have some Tradescantia, Emiliana, the BB plant. And look, they have one Hoya. And it's the Lacanosa. It's not the snow cap. I think it's called Royal Flush. But it's $15.98. In about an eight inch pot. It has some variegation. And then over here they have the usual Croton Sago Palms, but look, I've never seen a Pine Villa Pepper Moides at a Lowe's or a big box store. It's huge and it's $14.98. That's so cool. And they only have two. And at this location, they also have a bunch of the philodendron upright. And these are all $17.98. Look at the variegation. I don't know if that's normal, but it's awesome. And they have some baby fiddles. Hope and Diffenbachia. Okay, we're probably at our final lows today, but let's hope to find some awesome things. Okay, you guys, I really did not record anything in this last lows because pretty much the last video I uploaded of plant shopping, they have the same items. So I I wasn't gonna like waste y'all's time. I was I was even considering going to like a nursery, um, just like so y'all have some more content to watch in this video. But I was trying to keep it to the theme of just going to Lowe's because everyone has Lowe's around and I figure it's pretty universal and y'all could kind of get an idea what's available right now, what Lowe's is putting out right now, instead of me filming a nursery that I only have in town, it kind of wouldn't make sense. But yeah, so I'm just probably going to do that in a separate video. Probably not today, but some sometime soon. Before we wrap up today's video, I'm going to share with you guys what I picked up today. I only bought one plant. Shockingly. <laughs> I've been doing duos lately, but I ended up picking up this bad boy. He is amazing and glorious. It is a philodendron. Well, it's labeled as a uh, golden goddess or a golden goddess philodendron hybrid. Um, I believe it's called lemon lime upright to most people, but I got this plant because it is beautiful and variegated. I, I'm not sure if the plant usually puts out leaves like this or if it's kind of hard to find these kind. Um, you, I've only seen lemon lime upright once before at a uh, Millburgers nursery and so and I'm kind of comparing it to that time whenever I saw it there because most of their um, philodendron 
um, upright. That's what I'm going to call it because that's what I've seen it labeled as. But um, theirs were not variegated at all. They didn't have these edgings right here. And if I got it on film, I'm pretty sure I did. But most of the leaves are like, you can see like, I don't know, kind of hints of variegation and striping on the leaves. So I'm not sure if that's completely like common and I'm just kind of freaking out over this plant in general or if it's actually kind of awesome that I found a plant like this. But yeah, I ended up picking up this bad boy. He is in a black ceramic pot and it's, oh, he's actually in a nursery pot, but it's covered and it's cash pot and it's cash po, um, a black ceramic pot. So that's really amazing. It doesn't have a drainage hole, so you couldn't um, pot it into the ceramic pot, but that's fine. I kind of rather have cash pos rather than pot up because I enjoy bottom watering. That is my jazz. But yeah, this is the only plant I got today and it is stunning. I kind of splurged on it, so I'm not too mad about only picking up one plant today, but it was worth it for sure. They had a lot of beautiful ones as well. I It was so hard to choose. You should have saw me. I literally had like three picked out and I was trying to pick from those the whole time and there's like other people I think trying to walk around and seeing like what I was looking at because they were probably confused like why are you freaking out over this this plant you know and they were trying to get on get in on it or something but I'm not sure but yeah, that's all I got today. Yeah, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping with me today. It was a lot of fun taking you guys along with me. Please give this video a big like for me if you enjoyed this video and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it if you're into planty things because that's what this video is all about. And until next time, bye!